Okay guys, we're back with another video today. Uh, today, we are going to be painting a 13 inch Magnum Jake. Uh, I got these from Sugar Tip online. Uh, they distribute a lot of blank lures. Um, it's named after the town Sugar Tip, South Carolina, I guess. Um, but yeah, the lures seem, the blanks seem to be pretty good quality. Um, I, I liked how the bills glued into them. Um, so far, I'm really happy with them. Um, so today, we're going to be doing kind of like a perch pattern, but I'm going to take some of these reflective tape that I've pre-cut, and I'm going to be able to put them on here as the perch stripes. Um, so I'm not sure what kind of colors I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to kind of paint and figure it out as I go. Um, but I do know that I'm going to put those stripes on there. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, as always, we'll start out with a base coat. I think what we're going to do is, I think we're going to do a white base coat to start out. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so as I was heat setting that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the belly white and then fade my way up into a darker black, but I'm going to put those green reflective tape on after I do the fade and I'll come over the back with a darker color to kind of darken it all in and make it all one thing. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, the, gr the green will really contrast the darker color as I'm fading up, so that's what we're going to do. So to do that, we're going to start off with, so we're going to start off actually with this pearl white and we're going to go shoot that and go over top of that first. So first things first, we're going to do the pearl white on the sides. Okay, now that the pearl white is on there, we're going to take some of this pearl silver and do the same thing. This time we're going to be a little more careful to, with the overspray because we want it to fade up the back. Okay, so you can see the fade is starting to be created there. Now we're going to take some of this medium gray, transparent, and we're gonna go over that again with an even tighter spray down the back. So we'll go ahead and start at the head and we'll do the same thing we just did with the silver. Okay, and now the gray is done. So now we're actually gonna come right over and we're going to use we're going to use this detail this wicked detail black magenta and we're going to darken up the back this is where we're really going to start i'm going to actually going to darken up the head as well the head's going to be a darker color so this is where we're really going to start to darken things up i'm going to darken up around the back and i'm also going to darken up right here but i'm still going to maintain that really tight fade along the edges Okay, so we'll go ahead and spray that now. Okay, so we started to darken that up now. So now before we go any further, we're going to heat set this to make sure it's completely dried up before we go any further, because next step is gonna be putting the tape on. Okay, so we got the heat set done. Um, you can tell it's dry now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these green cutouts that I have here. And they're just having adhesive tape on them. They're actually uh, made for flashers for salmon trolling. 
Um, but I just took them and cut them into stripes and then they have sticky back to them. So I'm just going to take them and stick them on wherever I feel like it should be. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So once I get them all on there, I'll stop and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But I'm sure that you guys probably don't want to see me peeling stickers and then slowly putting stickers on one by one. So I'll show you guys afterwards. So, um, yeah, I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so I got one side done. Um, stickers are on. And... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to, as best I can, match them up on the other side when I do the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll get back to you guys when it's fully done. Okay, so I got the tape on the other side now. Um, both sides are like that. It is coming up a little bit, so I'm struggling a little bit there. Um, I'm really hoping that the heat doesn't affect this tape because I am going to have to heat set afterwards before I can clear coat. Um, but I think once I get the epoxy on there, it shouldn't be an issue. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the gill plate and then we're going to darken up the back and the head and then we'll put eyes and sign our signature and then it'll be just about done. So let's go ahead and do the gill plate right now. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're going to do is I have this opaque black in the chamber and we're going to figure out where we want our gill. I have this stencil taped up. Um, I use this one for my 10 inch jakes and I think I'm gonna use this one for my 13s. Um, so we're gonna put this on right about there and we're gonna hold it. And then we're just gonna take this opaque black and with a lower pressure, we're going to spray not on the bait but along the edge of this stencil. And then we're going to line it up on the other side and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, get it about where we want it. Okay, and then we're just going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now we are going to take some more detail black magenta. And we're going to fill in just behind the gills and along the back and some of the head. Okay, so we got the head filled in and faded down the back a little bit. And then we're just going to take some opaque black and we're going to go over the head to really darken it in. And along the back to really darken it in. Okay, so we got the black on and now we're going to clean up our brush. We're going to accent the gills a little bit with some opaque white and then we're also going to accent just under the bill and then we'll be done. So I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so now we're going to go with a low pressure. And we're going to take some of this opaque white. Don't need a ton, just a little bit. Make sure it's spraying through there, opaque white, good. Okay, and now we're going to take the same stencil that we did our gills with. Make sure it's clean. And we're going to come and line this up with our gills. Best as possible. And then we're going to come just in a little bit.
Then we're gonna spray it. And that's gonna highlight our gills just a little bit, just enough. So now we're gonna do the same on the other side. So now with some of the remaining opaque white, I'm gonna go over the belly, touch up some of the overspray. So now all that's left is we're gonna clean this out, clean a brush. And then we're gonna take underneath the bill and we're just gonna accent a little bit. So we're gonna take some of this fluorescent sunburst, put it just a little bit in the chamber, just a couple drops. And then we're just gonna accent right underneath the bill, right here. Okay, so now it's time for eyes. Um, so yeah, I don't have any that are that big in this package. So these lures did come with eyes. I was hoping to find something green, but I don't have anything green. Um, so yeah, I'll have to use the ones that came with this lure because I don't have the right size eyes, so. We're just gonna have to be clear. Take a little bit of super glue and put a little dab of super glue on the eye. And then we're just gonna take the eye and place it in its socket. Just like that. Now we'll do the other side. Okay, eyes are on and I'll put our name on the bottom. So I'll put our name on the bottom. We're just gonna use this piece of tape. We're gonna take some opaque black and we're just gonna put a couple drops on the on the tape. That should be good. And then we got our popsicle stick sharpened down. And we're just gonna flip the bait over. And we'll write our name on the bottom of the bait. Okay, and that lure is finished and ready for clear coat. So I'll show it to you guys once the clear coat's on. And uh, so yeah, I'll get back to you guys once the clear coat's on. And I think it'll turn out pretty good. Okay guys, here's the finished uh, 13 inch Grandma Jake that I did for you with the flash green tape. Um, I did end up putting a little bit of green flake sparkle in the clear coat. And I think it came out pretty good, honestly. Um, there was a little bit of uh, the tape peeling up on the back. I think that'll be fine once I put another layer of clear coat on it. Um, it seems seems to be like it won't be an issue. Um, I think another layer or two of clear coat will really, really cover that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some hooks in and split rings on. Um, probably end up putting seven out uh, mustad hooks that I get from Barlow's Tackle. Uh, make sure you go check them out. There's a link in the description. You can use code DHBAITS um, to let them know that I sent you there. 
and that'll really help support the channel. So without further ado guys, that is the 13 inch grandma or Jake, I'm gonna call it a grandma, um, with the green foiled perch pattern.